us here today. It's Nolan and I with you today, and we're happy to be here. Give me one Hello. Piece, buddy. Um, happy Sabbath, uh, everyone. Welcome. Um, we're going to get started with today uh, and get going with our, our, our activities, I suppose. We'll hop right into it. You can go into YouVersion and sign into there today. Uh, and also for church check-in, right? If you're going to uh, be signing in today, it's always good for us to know who's in attendance and who's participating today. Uh, okay, so that's something that we want to do. Um, you know what? Let's, do you want to lead us with the mission? Is I can leave us with a mission statement. So yeah. our mission statement is love God, love all, serve God, and serve all. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great words, great words. When you put it into practice in your life, that's when it gets challenging, right? Um, vision, to do life together and welcome others to grow as a family in Christ, discipling the next generation into God's kingdom today. Absolutely, right? That's something we want to be doing always at NP with our practices and things that we're doing, right? Absolutely, to do life together. I really miss doing life together. I really want to start doing life together more with all of you again uh, at church, um, right? Spending yeah. time together, actually together, right? Um, this is honestly one of my most favorite things that we do. It probably is one of yours as well. When we do our gratitude moment, we pull together what we are thankful for. Yeah, whenever we're at home, I know that uh, we always, we can't really log in because <laughs> we don't really know how to, but we always try to list a few things that we're thankful for whenever we see stuff we agree with most of them, basically all of them, and we list some stuff that we like. So we're uh, looking forward to seeing some things that you guys are thankful for. Absolutely. Thankful. Tell me in one word what you're thankful for. You know what? I, there's always so many things. You know what? And not to be sappy, but I'm, I'm thankful for you, right? Uh, Absolutely. Thankful, thankful for you. Um, hey, Julieta, we're seeing you uh, sunshine. I'm always thankful for family. Vaccine. Amen. Right? I think everyone's holding their breath for that for to get their opportunity. Spring. Spring has sprung, right? For sure. Jesus always... Always, what do you see up there? What are some things? Uh, I see summer. I see, yeah, I'm thankful for the warm weather yesterday. I can't believe it was snowing yesterday, though, but today is supposed to be really nice. So like if, I can throw a, like a if I can throw something in that I'm thankful for, I'm thankful to have the opportunity to speak today because uh, hey, it's a nice way to... Uh, Absolutely. Uh, strengthen my ability to speak in front of people. So absolutely, yeah, I'm, right? I'm happy to summer. Absolutely, work. That's always one too. We don't want to under underestimate that, right? Work and money. Uh, we're still going through a pandemic. Uh, Tress, I'm seeing. Uh, what see else do we see? I see you on there. I see Jeff. You do. Oh, I see. <laughs> Look at that. It's fantastic. You know, thankful for family, thankful for friends, thank you for health, longevity, all the wonderful things we're blessed with. You know, I was hearing a speaker the other day, Nolan, talking about how just getting up and being able to breathe, right? Oh, just yeah. being able to have opportunity, family in your life, um, things that we take for granted all the time. Walking, right? Getting out yeah. there and walking is fantastic. You see all the things that everyone's family, Good themes. Easter, Easter the sign of new life, right? When we were growing up, that's what we always thought about with Easter and we were always taught about it. Easter time symbolizes new life, right? Potluck, oh, I can't wait to have one of those again. I miss those a lot. <laughs> right? For sure we do, right? Eating outside with friends, just getting out in the sun, just feeling, here's a blessing, just feeling that sun on your face, right? Coming through uh, the window, Absolutely. right? The warmth, the sunshine, for sure. We are, I remind everyone, it's part of the reason we moved here, sunniest province, right? <laughs> In Canada, we get a lot of daylight. Okay, um, you know, we're going now on to, it looks like the children's moment, right? Uh, we're gonna have a message there. So let's listen, we always look forward to that as well. So yeah. we're gonna hear that now, okay? So enjoy. <laughs> Uh, hi, boys and girls. Uh, my name is uh, Malone Chaya. For you, you can call me Uncle Malone. And today I'm going to tell you a story that happened uh, probably two summers ago at our house. One of the favorite things that we do at our house um, over the summer is we grow a garden. So we grow corn and uh, potatoes and beans and beets and uh, tomatoes and it's my favorite time of the year. In a little corner of the garden I also grow some hot hot peppers. Now I know a lot of you kids love hot peppers and you just enjoy putting them into your food. So we were sitting down at the end of the day for supper with my family. Uh, and having taken the peppers from the garden, I 
put them on the table and I began to cut them up. And one of my children, my son started to wonder, hmm, how can I make some money out of these peppers? So he said to me, you know, daddy, are those really, really hot? And I said, yeah, they're hot. If you don't know what red peppers look like, I've got an example for you to look at. This is hot sauce and it's made from those red hot peppers. So I say to my son, well, I'm not going to give you anything because I don't think you can do it. And he said, I bet you I can do it for $20. And being a good Christian, I said, no, I don't, I, I don't usually bet. And he said, no, oh, come on, dad. Will you give me 20 bucks if I do it? So I said, yes, you have to eat the whole thing and keep it into your mouth for at least one minute. So my son, being the brave person he is, took a chili and he bit half of it uh, and started chewing it. And in a few seconds, his mouth was very hot and he got up off the table, opened the door and ran down the driveway screaming his mouth off. A few minutes later he came back and he said, where's my money? And I said, no, 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 the deal was that you eat the whole pepper. And so being the smart Alec he was, he said to me, well, if I eat the rest, Will you at least give me $10? And I wasn't going to fall for that. But anyway, the story I want to, I'm telling you teaches us something about money. The Bible says that in Ecclesiastes 5 verse 10, whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. I think my little boy um, was so interested in money that he was trying to find a way of... Uh, of extracting that money from daddy's pocket. But I want you to remember that the Bible also teaches us, right? If we love the Lord and if we, um, if we trust him uh, with all our heart, uh, he will add all these other things um, and give them to us in abundance. So boys and girls, trust God in all your ways he will supply all your needs and you don't have to come up with clever stories to try and make some money that's our story for today amen oops i'm bumping into things here <laughs> we are going to go now into the worship songs shout to the lord and who you say i am love that one Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort. Tower of refuge and strength. 
Amen. Amen, Nolan? Amen. Amen. I just want to tell you guys, I was thinking when I'm watching and listening to the amazing singing going on, when I was younger and we played music, a telltale sign of how well you're doing is if people didn't believe it was you. That sounds so good, guys. Anybody listening to that, be that's a professional recording. It sounds amazing. What a, a blessing to have that in our own church. Uh, and I also wanted to share... For those that have never had the, the privilege to come in and do hosting like we are today, how amazing it is to see you on your screens. You know, we see people outside today enjoying the weather. We see people in their homes. I can see people singing. It's amazing to see. And I just want to share that because maybe other people in the congregation don't know we're seeing that. It's awesome to see. So hello, everybody. <laughs> we do see you. Uh, it's an awesome position to be waving. I see waving and beautiful sunshine where you are. Fantastic. Hey, Joyce, George, I see everyone Ooh. waving. It's fantastic, right? So just to get that interactive peace we see you we know you're there um we're going to take a moment now of course and do prayer moments in our groups right um and we have this song of course that the lord bless you as well uh so we're going to listen to that so we're going to break off into some groups and do a little prayer moment in our groups okay <laughs> time ago Moses heard from God how they should bless Israel how to proclaim his name and in his holy It's right. 